The grind continues on Black Ops 2 Plutonium. My one and only very simple goal today is to unlock gold on the PDW. We are very close. We only need 40 kills without perks and without attachments, as well as 17 revenge medals and two bloodthirsty. So really, the hardest part is just going to be getting the revenge medals. As usual, we're going to be diving into the America's TDM best maps. Uh, I don't get why the numbers keep changing. Yesterday, we were on one. Uh, there's a three down here. Today, we're back to two, which is what we were on like two or three days ago. So as I was talking about in last night's video, I did end up mowing the lawn. And let me tell you, man, that actually ended up working out my shoulders and my legs a little bit because that was my first time mowing in like three weeks i want to say and that was after the hurricane came through so you can only imagine not only was the grass relatively long but it was really thick thankfully it wasn't like it was when you try to mow during the summer when it rains down here because man let me tell you in florida it's kind of crazy every afternoon it'll rain like i'm talking straight up downpour thunderstorming the whole shebang but then it gets so hot immediately after that you can't even tell that it rained because the grass and the ground and everything just dries up immediately kind of i say kind of because unfortunately some of that wet does linger in the grass which means you know if you try to mow it the next morning like i typically do it'll still be kind of wet which means that all the grass kind of clumps together and the grass grows so fast down here that it's gonna be at like an insane length within only a week so trying to mow the lawn during the summer in florida does kind of suck but again since it's october thankfully the you know it wasn't that bad it was a little wet kind of for some reason at least it seemed like it but otherwise you know it wasn't too bad it was just really thick really clumping together so i ended up having to mow count clockwise whereas i typically do clockwise because as i was doing it clockwise or at least what i think would have been clockwise i was kind of like running over the stuff that i just mowed which was making it like clump up even more so i had to do it in the opposite direction so that it would blow out into the empty yard that i already mowed over which means that yeah it looked a little bit messier i guess because you had like grass debris all over the place but it made my life easier and the grass was cut either way, so I don't care. When it comes to yard work, I don't care how it looks. I just want it to get done. I still got to mow the backyard, which for some reason that one hasn't grown as much. It's been the same amount of time since I mowed that one, yet it's not even half the length. Like, it's very short for some reason, but it's enough to cut it. So I'm just going to get it done because that's probably going to be the last time that I'll have to do it this year. And then, yeah, I don't know, start doing it again in like March or whatever when the grass actually starts growing again. I used to love listening to music when I mow, you know, usually I, I there was a point where I try to wear it like earbuds, but I stopped doing that because, dude, I used to get so sweaty when I was wearing earbuds that they would start like sloshing around in my ear and slipping out. And it was just it wasn't working. So then I started wearing headphones. But nowadays, my ears are kind of sensitive to really loud noises, which is funny because I was that kid in middle and high school walking down the halls with my headphones blaring with the hood up you know you'd be hearing people equal shit my slip not just blaring in my headphones like you could literally hear me coming down the hallway just from how loud my headphones were i've even been to a couple of concerts but yeah for some reason nowadays when it comes to at least like blasting headphones i just can't do it other times you know i can typically deal with like outside noises a bit better like when it comes to like surround sounds or movie theaters or concerts like i can deal with loud noises like that it just depends on like where my brain's kind of at that day and my tolerance for the noise noise but typically i'm cool with stuff like that like if i'm watching dragon ball of course i'll crank up their surround sounds so then every time goku starts screaming you know the subwoofer gets going and it like vibrates my seat i love it there are a few things that are more gnarly than sitting there with the surround sounds on with the lights kind of dimmed you know just watching dragon ball z or dragon ball super and then seeing goku get all primed up in super saiyan or super god form going come like dude it is so sick one of my favorite moments in dragon ball history is from dragon ball super and it's when he's fighting kefla and like right at the end he does that giant wind up it's not you know it's not even like the typical you know like ah man no he like breaks it up and goes like as like Kefla's like shooting all the beams at him or whatever and he's literally like doing like front flips over it and using his Kamehameha like ball form thing to like glide over the beams that she's shooting at like oh my gosh it was so sick and then right at the end it just gets up in her face with the final ha and it just blasts her in the face and it shows her from like multiple angles and she just gets absolutely blown away dude one of my favorite moments in Dragon Ball history so good one of my other favorite moments in Dragon Ball history it's a little cliche but it's the first time that Goku goes Super Saiyan during the Frieza arc in Dragon Ball Z. I just, man, there's something, there's something about that music that plays. You know, those like keys in the background, like that, and you just like, you kind of see the light of Goku going Super Saiyan reflecting off of Frieza's face. Oh gosh, dude, it is so good. I just love those really like quote unquote cinematic looking moments in anime. Like one of my other favorite ones is like in Naruto, obviously when like uh, Naruto and Sasuke are fighting and you know, they 
do that giant lunge at each, at each other. One anime I would really like to see is one based on Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know if there's anything like that that exists. I mean, obviously, I've played the game before, but I haven't looked into too much of, like, the media outside of the game, if any media outside the game does exist, but... I'd really like to see an anime based on that, if that would ever be possible somehow. I have no shame in saying that I sim for Yuri. There it is, unlocked Art of War and Cherry Blossom Camo, which means now we just need to get the Revenge Medals. Uh, I've definitely completed all the Bloodthirsties as well, so... I guess now it'll just kind of be this repetitious cycle of letting one kill me and then going and finding where they're at. So now I need to find Clean Demon, who is using a Remington. So there it is, there's one Revenge Medal. Now I guess I gotta let one of you kill me and I just gotta do this 17 times. So now I gotta find Conventional, which, uh, no, that wasn't him. That's Clean Demon. Are you? No, that's Nasty Boy. See, now I, I just gotta run around and find him. Okay, there it is. There's Conventional, which should be a Revenge Medal. Now I gotta let you kill me. Come on. There we go. I'm completely blazing through these guys right now and I cannot find him. Okay, no, you're not it. Dad, definitely not you. Brother, I just got a bloodthirsty. Where in the world is this person? I am on a Merciless and I still never ended up finding it. Whatever. And now I gotta go after Chris Doy Big or whatever. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and switch over to my PDW that actually has attachments now, now that I don't need to use that specific class anymore. There we go. There's another revenge medal. I don't even know how many I need, so I'm just gonna kind of keep doing this, I guess. I just unlocked the millimeter scanner for the PDW, which means that I have it at max rank, which means we can go ahead and prestige it, which, uh, yeah, but we're gonna have to go through that whole cycle two more times, because I am trying to get the, like, complete mastery calling card in here, which means getting gold on every single weapon, but then also getting every single weapon to max rank, max prestige and everything, so getting gold is really only the beginning of the grind for this weapon, but I'm all here for it. Like I've said before, the PDW is easily my favorite weapon in Black Ops 2. There's another revenge medal. I've gotten a lot of these things, man. Y'all must be so thankful for the power of editing right now. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of wild goose chasing I'm gonna have to edit out of this is actually insane. I don't even care. I'm just gonna drop a lightning strike on him. Quad feed. The only part that sucks about going for these revenge medals is the fact that it is absolutely destroying my KD and my statistics right now, but... It is what it is. I, I mean, you guys know me. I don't care about KD and all that. It's just one of those things where it's like, you know, this is plutonium. I would like to at least try to keep it looking somewhat decent. You know, we used to care about that stuff back in the day. And this was, you know, definitely during that era where we cared like, hey, man, what's your KD on Black Ops 2? But now I gotta like intentionally let myself die just in order to get these revenge medals. But it is what it is. We're gonna have to do it for like 30 plus times, however many weapons are in the game. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things where we destroy our KD now in order to get all these weapons gold and then once I'm done getting them gold, then I can go back to grinding and get my KD up to a reasonable point. But anyway, the challenge is pop, letting me know that I did complete gold on the PDW, so... We're safe to dip out of here. We finally did it. Create a class, and just like that, there it is. There's gold on the PDW. I'm also gonna slap it. I'll slap it on the no attachments one, just so then we get a good look at it in-game. But I'll go ahead and do this, uh, throw on extreme conditioning, and... Yeah, let's go back into the game and check it out. I really like how if you leave a match, it'll keep the last server you were in highlighted. I, I really like that. I don't know where the best lighting would be for this, but uh, yeah, we did it. We finally have the gold. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that shining right there. Get it just right with the light shining on the gold. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. There it is. We have gold on the PDW57 in Black Ops 2 Plutonium. But anyways, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna kind of call it for today because we could start some of these other challenges, right? Like we could have whipped out the TAC-45 or the SVU and start going for like one-shot kills, but I think next time we'll start going for the Remington, but you know, we've already been going for long enough. We finally unlocked the gold camo, so I'm cool with just kind of concluding things there. In fact, I'm gonna go in here and set ourselves up for success for next- oh man, look, look at all these uh, assault rifles we've been unlocking here. I can't wait till we finally get the A-94, of course, but uh, I don't know, did we do the S-2 over there? No, well yeah, we'll definitely go for the Remington next. We'll go ahead and slap- Oh, uh, what camo do we slap on there? Do we, do we go for the the ghost one? The ghost one? Maybe aqua? Pack-a-punch? How about the bacon camo? Oh, I'm feeling it. Let's go with the bacon camo. I'm also gonna slap the TAC-45 on as our secondary, just so we can sort of, like, start passively going for that one, but, um... Yeah. But anyway, as always, massive shout out there to all the patrons and channel members. Thank you to all you in the low ball tier and an even bigger shout out there in the mid ball tier. Mel asking and big daddy Maddie and the biggest shout out there on the GTA run events on the cheese girl. Thank you guys so much, you guys are literal legends. I love you. Good on you, Doki Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Brace.